The following is a production of The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everyone on February 1st, Thursday. Before I go into what's up and coming, let me summarize the month of January that I'm so glad it's finally finished. I don't need to remind you, it was a very wet month. And I don't care if you're looking at the snow, the sleet, or the rain. When you liquefied it all together, we ended up with 5.59 inches worth of precipitation. Normal is 3.2. So actually, we have enough precipitation to go three quarters of the way through February that's up and coming, because it's already here. The worst part about January, 23 days of the month, something fell out of the sky. Add four more days to that where it was just cloudy. What that really meant was we only had four days of sunshine and two of them weren't complete. One, you got up and we had a beautiful sunny morning and at lunchtime, it clouded over. The other one, you got up and it was a cloudy morning and at lunchtime, the sun came out until evening. So we really only had two really sunny days. That's very depressing. And most people felt it too. Believe it or not, we're over in snow. And that, you shake your head and say, what are you talking about? Normal for January is 21 and a half inches. We had 31.33. But we never had a big snowfall. We had two fives, a four, two threes, a bunch of twos, some ones, 0.8 and 0.5. But you added it all up and we actually went over. Not a much to do much with. In fact, the last one's still behind me. And I take my measurements three times and depending where I take it, some places still have two and a half inches. Others have an inch and some of it's bare grass. So I called the weather service this morning and said, eh, put it down as an inch on the ground. Hopefully by later today, that'll disappear if we're lucky. Anyway, if you look at temperature, that was the big one because normal, we actually have 21 and a half degrees as our normal average for January. We ended up at 26 as our normal average. But this is what made the month so crazy. You had a week where you could go out in a t-shirt. It was in the upper 40s. In fact, one day we hit 50. And then you had a week ago where you couldn't put on enough because you were freezing to death and we had zero and zero and cold. So there wasn't any evenness to it. It was either way above or way below. But averaging it all together, the warmth won. 26 degrees, that's a four and a half degree increase from what's normal. That's a lot. In fact, let me put something in there. I talked to my sister down in Costco, Connecticut yesterday, and she's now worried. She actually has daffodils above the ground, crocuses above the ground, and her tulips are starting to sprout. And a number of her bushes have green buds, but that was still January. Something is a little bit wrong around here. Even around here, things are looking a little different than what they're supposed to look like. So we'll have to wait and see what February is going to bring us. So looking at that, people are saying, oh, these last couple of days have been cold. Well, it wasn't. It was 30, 28, and 33. Believe it or not, those are all above average for where we're supposed to be. Our daytime temperatures are supposed to be 26. And night times are supposed to be 15. So you step outside and you still say, in fact, Lillian said it almost feels like spring. Well, it almost does. Okay. Today, you could get, believe it or not, a little bit of rain this afternoon, which then might mix with a little bit of snow. But it's not going to be anything to really worry about if we get it at all. But here it is, it's 7.30 and it's still dark gray outside and that's continuing. It's also gonna be the same tomorrow. But now you can put a smile on your face. If they're correct, and I hope they are, there's a huge high pressure system coming over us. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and according to the natural weather, maybe even Thursday, it's all going to be dry. We're going to see sunny to partly sunny. Can you imagine six days in a row with the sun up there? We'll actually believe it's really up there. You know what? The only thing that'll be a little bit different, 
we're going to still be above normal temperatures. We're going to spend daytime highs in the mid to upper 30s in a couple days, maybe 40. There we go again, above normal. Last year, we had one February day where we went below zero. And it was the only one for the whole entire year. So far right here, we had two zeros, but nothing below. You know what? If we don't go below zero, I won't feel so bad about that at all. But can you imagine six days of being able to go outside and do something and not worry about your shovel, not worry about plowing, not worry about all of that? I'll take it. Please enjoy it. But we still have to get rid of this stupid gray. I am tired of it. So the other thing, in case you haven't looked at your calendar, is this a leap year February? There's 29 days in it. That's going to change the averages for what's normal because it only happens once every four years. So when I average out February, we'll see what happens with it. Meanwhile, look forward to the sun because I am. And have a good one. To subscribe or advertise, call 607-464-4009.